out of system to match up size wise. Winner of this match will play again tomorrow. They will play Cal Poly. How about this? Georgia took the first two sets over Cal Poly, and then the Mustangs surged. And it was all about the serving and passing. Cal Poly was able to get Georgia out of system at the end and gained all the momentum behind tough services. Pac-12 fans will remember Tori Van Winden from her time at UCLA. Van Winden, after missing the entire year with concussions, back today, big factor in that match. It, absolutely, she had a solid match, but it was a team effort, and Cal Poly fought back hard when their backs were against the wall. So winner of this match plays Cal Poly tomorrow. It is survive and advance. For Stanford, what a season the Cardinal has had. I mean, we mentioned Catherine Plummer being out, but they also had some time without Fitzmorris, who was a great player as well. They had a number of different lineups, and I think you really hit it, Holly, when you said they learned something about themselves. Oh, for sure. Anytime you're without some key players, a lot of the young players who never get on the court, Stanford usually plays those same starting lineup every time. So a lot of players who don't get playing time got some playing time and confidence. Underway, Gray to Plummer. Plummer takes a step to fix a set that wasn't where she wanted it and still a kill. But they worked it out, throws it down in the middle. Huge smile on Catherine Plummer's face. She's happy to be back competing. Yeah, I mean, that's really, we're all happy to see her back competing. She was ineligible for any postseason awards because she didn't play enough matches. Block, Jenna Gray. How about that? Jenna Gray just knew she was by herself and went after the ball. She's lined up wide, but watch her go. I work. Close her left hand, press on the ball. Fantastic block. Sydney Wilson continuing to serve. Uh oh. From the back court, McClure, first ball. Plummer patiently waiting for it. Not the cleanest ball yet, but punctuation by Plummer. That was OT over the top of the block. It was set kind of tight to the net in transition. Denver there, but that literally was over the top. High contact point for Catherine Plummer at six foot six. On the right side, Jenna Gray digs for Mako, set. So that's the way it goes. Put it up, Plummer. Chops it down. Yeah, I feel like Stanford came out ready to play defense. They're all over the little short tip shots. And Denver a little bit tentative to start. And you can't be no. against Stanford. No. There's no warm-up time against Stanford. Well, when we talked to Coach Tom Hogan for Denver, he said, you know what? We need to beat them with our size and our speed. Tina Bow out of the middle, all-conference player, just a freshman. Excuse me, a junior. But she has been impressive all season. For Denver. Yeah, one of two players for the Pioneers who's played in every set this season. And here is Lydia Bartolo that we told you about, a junior from Colorado Springs, serve. Gray, pretty delivery back. Gray, disappointed with herself perhaps throwing that out. Well, I think Jenna Gray expected a block to be in front of her, kind of went up with some force and threw it down wide. Bartolo, you mentioned the Summit League Player of the Year, was also the Summit League Tournament Most Valuable Player. And Tom Hogan says that they really rely on her for a lot because she passes the ball, and when they need a kill, look for her to get the ball. Here's a formidable front line for Stanford as Jenna Gray is serving Holly Campbell, Adriana Fitzmorris, and Catherine Plummer. All of them national champions. Outside, big block, but a nice recovery from Denver. Uh-oh. Campbell didn't leave her feet and got punished for it by Amanda Green. Well, I like the dig by Stanford, picking up that short ball, but it off the cover. How about the cover? And then Green, boom, out of the middle, 15 for Denver. Tina Bowes serve, gets him a little out of system. Plummer just puts it where they're not. Well, anytime Catherine Plummer is going up to hit, you're ready for the cannon. So that puts you on your heels as a defensive player and the little short shot able to drop easily. That was Plummer on the right side. She started her career as an opposite and they got moved over to the left side, sophomore year. Off 
off the outside hand. Nice kill by Amanda Green. Amanda Green just working that inside hand, trying to go sharp inside that block. Holly Campbell needs to be strong with that left hand. Watch this ball get pushed outside, and then that left hand kind of pulled off the net for Stanford's middle blocker. Denver running a 6-2. Lauren Poulter in now, serving and setting. Yes, the name Poulter, familiar to volleyball fans. Her sister, Jordan Poulter, a great setter for Illinois, now with the national team. Yeah, okay. now running the national team's offense, doing some really great things, and she was, had a fantastic career at Illinois. Also entering for Denver is Ari Winters, a freshman opposite, part of the 6-2 double sub. Ball set long. That ball set a little bit low and unexpected, trying to get some high hands. Morgan Hentz serving now, senior, two-time national champion, over 2,000 career digs. Stop me when you've heard all this before. Pac-12, Libra of the Year again. Amanda Green on the right side pin, tags the back line, going right outside Megan McClure's hand. Well placed. Amanda Green played at Louisville before transferring over to Denver. She's a grad student getting her master's. Sends that one long. The head coach of Louisville, Danny Busboom, talked to coach Tom Hogan and said, look, this is a great player who can really help you. And she's brought leadership to this young team. He Formico serving for Stanford, junior defensive specialist, been a big part of the defensive success of this team over the years. Middle. Brianna Green, nice high contact point in the middle. She is explosive off the floor, able to beat the block right there. Watch this nice quick set. It's a fast tempo. Madeline Gates kind of moves into that sharp angle. She goes straight down the middle. Megan McClure now back to serve. Fleur's ball control praised by Kevin Hambly in our conversation with him earlier today. Yeah, Megan McClure's always, since she's been at Stanford, has been one of the hardest working players on the court. She maximizes every inch of her jump, her reach. She's really improved her blocking, and this year she's had a tough role. She was playing back role for Kendall Kipp, and just three rotations. Now she's back full-time in the lineup, trying to find her rhythm. You won't see that often. Stanford taking the ball down with him. Yeah, Stanford needs to be disciplined when Denver's attacking out of the back row. Make sure those hands are pressed on the Denver side of the net. Ellie Anderson serving and setting for the Pioneers. McClure's pass out of system. Nice cover on the block. Back this time to Madeline Gates. That Jenna Gray, Madeline Gates combination is really improved. That's one of the areas that at the beginning of the season, the connection just wasn't there. But now the tempo, the height of the set, the location, really solid connection between those two players. Teams have gone once around the dial. Sydney Wilson serving again. Overhand dig by McClure, Plummer. Plummer mixing up her tempos. And then she has cleanup duty on all these balls out of system. Nice pickup by Denver. Tight ball, looking for that corner. That's a great placement by the Pios. How about the chase by Megan McClure? Here comes middle, holding the block a little bit. Not put away, but nice rally. Well, the scrambling dig by Megan McClure, one arm flying dig. Keeps it alive. This is a well-placed ball deep down the line, but look at sliding under that ball. Kate Formico saw that ball anticipated. Stanford able to reset their defense. Middle. What a nice speed getting their middle involved. Plummer punishing the ball. The quick tempo offense for the middle and Denver is working, but Stanford playing defense and then Plummer transitioning for a bunch of kills on the left side. Catherine Plummer, five kills already on eight swings, no errors and a dent in the floor.
not about themselves, and they feel like they're finally starting to play some really solid volleyball. Tina Bow again attacking out of the middle. Tina Bow has been a bright spot for Denver all season long. She is an intense competitor who's got a chip on her shoulder. She's undersized at six feet in the middle, but she is explosive and quick. Martello, their strongest server. Door closed by Amanda Green, no question about it. One on one, Denver talked about doing some scheming defensive block schemes and there you have it one on one with the slide that means your one blocker better do her job and Amanda Green ju did just that and a double contact call that Denver point you talk about the scheming and it was interesting Tom Hogan said Part of what he watched was UCLA's win over Stanford, Washington's win over Stanford. He said he felt like that's how they were doing it and something they wanted to emulate. And Cal as well. Yep. He, he, they thought they had some success putting two blockers on the left side pin hitters for Stanford, one on one with the middle blockers hitting that slide attack. Can we talk about how with Catherine Plummer there's no extra? <laughs> right? It's just, it's just up and it, it's the, the maximum efficient movement. I mean, there is just nothing extra. She's a quiet athlete, a very confident athlete, and the way she attacks is kind of the same way. In, until the ball comes off of her hand and then it's like a cannon. <laughs> right, it's a bomb going off. Yep. Denver minimizing errors, key today, and nine kills and three attack errors. There's Tina Bow serving. Out to Fitz. So many attack options for Stanford. Adriana Fitzmore, she's played middle, she's played opposite, but she can get that left side pin attack going too, attacking fast through that seam. Plummer serving. Over. This is a team that's played together for four years with the addition of Holly Campbell and Madeline Gates in the lineup and Megan McClure. But this is the best recruiting class ever, in my opinion, for Stanford. Well, in 2016, to your point, four freshmen started on a team with two seniors and won the national championship. Yeah, it, it's a special group. Back to Fitz. What a beautiful dig. Macy Carabine. Great dig. Macy Carabine is unafraid, would run through a wall for a ball, according to her coach. Tom Hogan take her. So this will be the first time she will not be on stage at the national championship receiving an ABCA award because she did not play in enough matches to qualify for consideration. Yeah, which is definitely unfortunate, but I think a national championship would erase that pain. That's some balm, right? Yep. Holly, what do you remember about your NCAA tournament run to the championship? I remember I never wanted it to end, being with that special group. I mean, this is a group that you go to battle with, that you're in the gym every day, you travel around the country. Uh, I remember the challenge, the intensity of it all. And it, it was something I'll never forget. I'm still close with the group that I competed with. We're on a group text together, and it was, you know, 20 plus years ago. Great double block there by the Greens. Amanda and Brianna, not related, but closed on the block. A nice delivery by Jenna Gray. Wide. Amanda Green trying to get that inside block of Holly Campbell again off the inside hand, but that one too far wide. Middle, bounced off the head of Madeline Gates. How about that quick ball out of the middle, explosive. Brianna Green goes, looked like it got the top of Madeline Gates' head. Strong serve, I see what Tom Hogan's talking about in his team, nice. 
tough serves every time. Off hands, nice dig by Plummer. McClure keeping it in play. Carabine. Messi. Jenna Gray going to be challenged. Longest rally. Who's going to put it away? To the corner. Beautiful placement by Lydia Bartolo. Well, relentless defense on both sides of the net, but Denver stayed calm, throwing that ball deep down the line out of the reach of Catherine Plummer. I like the patience by Denver. Whenever we have a matchup like this, where there's a team like Stanford, who is national champion over and over, the question really becomes, does the opposing team believe? Denver believes. They're playing like they believe. They are fighting every bit, and they are doing some great things. They certainly are, and you see the hitter coverage so important against a big blocking team like Stanford. Everyone kind of huddled around. Adriana Fitzmorris, Madeline Gates get the block for Stanford there. But those small things like hitter coverage really can help your team stay in the match with a bigger blocking team. Solid pass. Madeline Gates solo block. And another put away on the opposite. Ari, Wint Ari Winters going sharp inside the block, tacking right inside of Catherine Plummer. ace as Denver continues to close the gap. Well, Tom Hogan told us today, we recruit tough servers. We have six players who can serve the ball tough and score from the service line, and we're seeing that right now. And they spend as much time on serving as they do offense and defense. Yeah, I found that really interesting. We Washington's a program that does that as well, and I feel like last year, Stanford put a huge emphasis on their service game. Two-point lead for Stanford in set number one. Gray to Plummer. Wow. Defense turned into kills when Catherine Plummer's on that left pin. They are scoring at will. Catherine Plummer, seven kills, ten swings, no errors. Every pass that Denver makes gives them a chance. Beautiful passing by the Pios. Gates and Plummer on the block. Little ball, hence underneath it. Gates picking it up and an attack error. What a dig by Morgan, hence left back. She was deep, but so good at sliding under that ball. And look at the lift, Madeline Gates keeps it in play. Jenna Gray tries to do too much with it. Gates, didn't look like that was gonna come back up, but Denver lets nothing drop. Denver's playing very aggressive defensively. Not only are they trying to get Stanford in trouble and serve receive, they are going all out defensively. Sydney Wilson serving. The cover on the block for Denver, as you've talked about. Gives them a second chance and a third chance every time. From the backcourt. McClure finds floor. And Sydney Wilson playing right back defensively for Stanford comes up with that ball. McClure, actually that kill out of the back row is how they won the national championship last year on that last swing. Service error leaves the door open a crack for Denver. They're down by just three in set number one. Stanford's hitting 290 as a team. Denver hitting 163. Service error and it's set point number one for Stanford. You, can, you know that Denver wants to score off their serve, and they're not going to back off on that service line. 
Jenna Gray serving front court for Stanford, Plummer, Fitzmorris, and Campbell. Pass is good. They go to the middle. Uh-oh. Got two blockers up on the overpass. That's a big block, and Stanford wins set number one on the block. Two fantastic block moves late, but the press was there. Plummer ends the rally with a huge left side press on her block. Stanford Cardinal closing the door on Denver in set number one. Set two coming up. Pio's going to have to work around that block. Well, look at those numbers for her. I mean, those are incredible numbers in the first set only for Catherine Plummer. We talked about her being the back-to-back -back national player of the year. She's the first in Slogan Tom in 2001-2002. She's had some big matches. Beginning of the year, 34 kills against Texas. Yeah, and Stanford missed her. They had some matches where they struggled with their identity, the backup players trying to figure out their role on the team. But I do really think that her being gone for that time while she was getting healthy, it really helped the other players work on their game and step up in terms of scoring. Well, it certainly gave them other opportunities. One of them is Kendall Kipp, who you may not see as much in the tournament as you did during the regular season, according to Kevin Hambly, but a freshman who got a lot of valuable experience, made the Pac-12 ball freshman team. Well, you and I saw her against USC when they were down 2-0, and they came back to win that match. Kendall Kipp really stepped up her game and showed the physicality that she's capable of. Gates, first swing kill. I'm loving the connection between Jenna Gray and Madeline Gates. They found their rhythm, and that's a really important way to score for Stanford on that slide play. Sydney Wilson serving. That ball never really reached above the net. Yeah, Tina Bow wants to beat Stanford with her quickness. She's explosive. That, setter, that set just needs to be a little bit higher so she can get on top of it. Wilson's serve, pass by Bartalo. Gray, Plummer. It's a problem. It's a problem, Holly. Well, <laughs> it certainly is. I mean, she is attacking that ball so hard. Look at the seam between the two Denver blockers. She gets on that quickly. Green right there touches it, but can't control it for Denver. Talk to me a little bit more about Catherine Plummer in terms of kind of what's so challenging about absorbing that power. As a, as a defender. Well, well, it's coming from a super high attack point. It's got a lot of power and pace behind it. She's got range to go either way. So it gets to you quicker than you expect. And if you're not ready with your platform out, you're not going to be able to control it. Jenna Gray back to serve. It's Morris up front for Stanford. Jenna Gray, an All-American javelin thrower, uses that good strong arm on her serve. Three consecutive Pac-12 Setter of the Year honors for Jenna Gray. That went to the middle, exactly the quickness you were talking about. Yeah, Tina Bow hitting that gap between the two blockers. Stanford needs to make a little adjustment with that quick gap set. Denver seeking their first ever set win in a tournament. They got swept last year by Utah in the NCAA tournament. Fitz has her own set of power. Great to Fitz. Lots of weapons for Stanford. We saw both pin hitters and then Adriana Fitzmorris on the left side. At six foot six, she's got that range too. She can get on top of that ball quick, turning it down the line. To the middle. 
door close. Campbell just sealing the net. Holly Campbell, number three, the middle blocker right now for Stanford. She is in there to block the ball. She doesn't get a lot of attack opportunities, but she is a very talented blocker. To your point, she's got two blocks already, has received just three sets. Plummer serving. Right on the top of the head of Amanda Green. Yeah, that was a flat serve with a lot of pace. Green didn't have time to get out of the way. Look at the pace. I love how flat it is. If you think about it, Catherine Plummer, she's off the ground. She's already six foot six. That ball is going flat over the net. Another tough one saved. Here's a free ball opportunity. Nice getting under it for Denver. Denver slowing down and picking up everything. Jenna Gray trying all her options. Pence, nice dig. Go to Plummer. How about that? I love the dig. This throw up your arm, pop the ball up. And then I'll tell you, Catherine Plummer was in her approach for that back row attack. You see the one arms have watched Catherine Plummer's feet just keep going. She knew that Brooke Bodkin looking good. 378, 17 kills for USC in their victory today. And then Danny Drews, 27 kills for Utah in their five set victory. That was a tough one for Utah playing Illinois five sets. Yeah, that was one of the toughest matches of the entire 64 team draw. And Washington State right now in a battle with San Diego. They're trailing two sets to one. Washington and Winthrop just underway. Through a hole in the block, no problem at all. Really fast attack by Kalia Faubert. Look at this nice right side feed, the middle blocker for Stanford, Holly Campbell. A little bit late getting there. That allows Faubert to attack that seam for Denver. To the middle. There's Holly Campbell fast. Yeah, beautiful feed by Jenna Gray, putting Holly Campbell one-on-one -on -one in the middle. I love when they get their middles involved, especially one that doesn't get a lot of sets who can still terminate. Trying to get their middles involved is Denver, but Madeline Gates all over it. Well, both middles for Denver have been pretty successful hitting three and 400, but that time Madeline Gates drops her left hand. Very disciplined press for Stanford. Service ace to the back line. Kevin Hamley told us today that they've been stepping up their service pressure and really focusing it on it. I mean, they had so many issues dealing with the injuries midseason that they've been able to get a lot more focused in practice, practice lately. What a nice placement from Denver. Yeah, Ari Winters knew exactly what Stanford's defense was going to do in that situation. Megan McClure comes in for the tip, opening up that sharp angle almost like a cut shot. We talked about Lauren Poulter's sister, Jordan, Ari Winter's sister, Jaylee, played at Creighton. So uh, volleyball legacy. All-American. Yep. Plummer. And then Plummer gets back to dig that ball. Tough ball coming quick. Winters. Fitz terminating for Stanford. Well, I love the way Jenna Gray controlled that ball. Long touch, allowing Morgan Hens to put up a pretty transition set to Fitz. Adriana Fitzmorris on the right. Look at the lift on that set. Perfect location, and then Morgan Hens delivers. It's just very calm between Gray and Hens as well. You can feel kind of the uh, confidence they have in each other for good reason, of course. And, and the rhythm. They're used to playing together. Good ball off the inside hand of Gates. Hence makes a diving attempt to dig it, but comes up short. Carabine serve, passed by Formico, out of system. 
McClure doing the work to put it away. Yeah, Stanford out of system. That was a tough swing against a well-formed block. Tina Bow, the middle blocker for Denver, was looking at her defender. She's like, where did that ball go? Stanford uses that back third of the court very well. I mean, that ball, what, a foot and a half in. Outside. Snap, Plummer. Are you kidding me? That ball set so inside. The power on that angle hit. I mean, Catherine Plummer, so impressive. So fun to see her playing again. Watch Catherine Plummer get her feet inside. Sharp angle, ba-boom, 15. Put out. Nice sharp kill by Winters to start things off for the Pios. Well-formed block by Stanford, forcing Ari Winters to go sharp angle, and she does. She hit that ball with nice range. When you say a well-formed block, what exactly do you mean? I mean that both blockers were closing together, forming a wall. No gaps, no seams in that block. Gates hammering down the line. Madeline Gates, that's her fourth kill. Zero airs, hitting a nice high percentage out of the middle. She even she likes to go off one foot, but there was a couple different times where she stayed in front of the setter and had a nice connection with Gray. Middle, no touch. Tina Bow unable to get on top of that ball for Denver. But Denver passing the ball well enough to run that middle attack. Outside. Plummer. It's just a, a different game when she plays. But you know what, Stanford's just moving nicely as a team. I feel like everything's slowed down. Their defensive deflections are nice. The defense moving into good positions, Take care of, taking care of that first contact, and they look really smooth tonight. Gray back to Campbell. Uh oh off the scoreboard, they can play it. Outside the plumber. Slowed down by Bartolo. And Bartolo again, we got a little note from Rich Feller, former head coach of Cal, saying that Bartolo is a daughter of his former player at Colorado State, Tracy Smith, and Mike Bartolo, running back at CSU. Thank you, Rich Feller. Yeah, good nugget, Rich Feller. There, there she creates some offense to get around that big Stanford block. Middle. What a nice up by Formico. And a huge block for Denver. Finally, Denver able to stop Plummer. Tina Bow, number 13, closing that block. Watch this block here. Faubert and Bow turning it back into the court. Campbell just using the block. Ball set a little bit tight to the net. Holly Campbell gets her feet there. Little soft touch off the block out of bounds. Tom Hogan's team responding, extending rallies. Jenna Gray serving. Fitz Campbell and Plummer up front. Another service error. I enjoyed talking to Tom Hogan about his team. He's got a passion for this game. He's excited about his, what his program is doing. Oh, no question at all. And for, you know, Kevin Hamley and Tom Hogan, good friends. We watched them during the Georgia Cal Poly match sitting together, talking throughout much of the match. Back to back blocks on Plummer. This one on the right side, and it was green and green for Denver. I'm going to call that green square the rest of the way. I like that. Thank you. Bo. Going right at Plummer. Plummer going right at Bo. Jenna Gray putting her hitters in such nice positions. That Look at Catherine Plummer just up and down, little out of system, seeing the big block. Denver, nice, well-formed block, but she goes inside of them. Yep, Elliot. 
Anderson ready to receive it. I think Catherine Plummer must have done a lot of serving when she was out. I saw her serve at her team when they were down at USC, but her serve, this flat serve from the right side down the line has been really impressive, getting Green in all sorts of trouble from Denver. There it is again. Right? Wow. Well, you know what Tom Hogan would call that? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. Tell me. A fleam. Right. Flat, clean serve in the seam. He made up that word, fleam, with an M at the end. M as in mother. And he said that's the way that the Denver Pios want to serve. Sometimes when all you can do is serve the ball, you get that focus. And Catherine Plummer really improved her serve when she was out because that serve is nasty. Well, I'm sure the rest of the tournament field is taking note right now should Denver advance and they're going to try, try to scout that. Plummer has four service aces. Touch called off the Stanford block. Everyone looking at each other. I didn't see a touch, did you? I never see a touch, okay. you know that, yeah. <laughs> I don't. Stanford not arguing. Oh, yeah, little pinky action. Hence. Back to Campbell. Great going to Campbell a bit. Really trying to get her some reps, it looks like. I think that's important. You want to get Holly Campbell confident offensively. That ball even got to her forearm, still got down. Set point, Stanford. Looking to go up two sets to none. Little dribbler. Gray digs, hence steps in. Got to get around that, McClure does. All options available. Gates swing in the middle. McClure. Getting the work done. Stanford seals the deal on set number two. And Catherine Plummer using that big left paw to keep it alive. McClure, beautiful transition kill for Stanford. Stanford hitting the high numbers and then they're winning the defensive battle. 36 digs and slight edge in the block department, five to four. It's a tough task for Denver. If they trim their attack error, they could keep it a little bit closer. We'll see set number three coming up next. Stanford, a tough draw and they are making it hard. Gray, not sure who was supposed to get that one. Yeah, I think that set needed a little bit more pace on it from Gray to Campbell. Didn't have enough, enough oomph to get outside. They laugh it off. Plummer drops that one in front of the net. Yeah, I think Plummer was trying to do her little soft short, soft shot right over the block, but a little too soft. Outside to Fitz. Can we talk about that yeah. set from Jenna Gray? I mean, she yeah. is keeping her team in system from 20 feet off the net. Look at her get around this ball, push this ball with pace, and then Fitz Morris, exclamation top, to top it off. What makes Gray such an exceptional setter? Well, I mean, I love the way she leads. She's so calm, but she's able to run down balls and, and put her hitters in good positions to score from a huge area on the court. The pass doesn't have to be perfect. Third consecutive Pac-12 setter of the year honor for Jenna Gray. I also think she's gotten better just at knowing what's going on on the other side of the net, recognizing weaknesses, recognizing smallest blocker on the other side of the net, things that you get better at as a setter as your career goes on. Nice delivery to Campbell. And a great attack by senior transfer Amanda Green. Amanda Green just gets up high contact point. Watch her get there and turn this ball down the line. Fitzmorris was kind of diving in with her block. Green goes down the line. Green, uh, Summit League All-Tournament team. Tough serve right there. Denver getting Stanford in some trouble.
And Denver taking the lead against the defending national champions. Lauren Poulter's got a great serve. She's hitting that flat, clean serve. That fleam serve, our new word. Yeah, I think we'll be using that going forward, right? We have to give Tom Hogan credit. Yep, and when you said I've never heard that before, you said that's because I made it up. I've coined it. <laughs> A block in. By the way, before we get in trouble, Karch Karai had part of that. Tom improved the word. You're right. In and, the I've, scene. and I've actually learned from Karch Fleem. <laughs> now I'm forgetting. Fleem from <laughs> Karch Fleem from Tom Hogan. Denver on a roll. Holter serving the ball extremely well, and she's taken her Denver team on a scoring run, scoring the last four points. <laughs> And it continues as Gray's trying to find her middles. Well, I like that Jenna Gray's trying to find her middle, but Holly Campbell needs to go next to Jenna Gray, especially when she's passed tight to the net. You want to make yourself available to your setter. Gray out to McClure. That's called making something of it. Absolutely, a little soft touch through the block. Megan McClure able to score and finally end the scoring run of Denver. Hence, serving. Strong swing by Winters. Plumber from the backcourt, one blocker. Pretty transition use of the back row attack. And I'll tell you, Stanford's block right now really funneling balls to Morgan Hens. And when you do that, you get that nice controlled first contact. Plumber able to score on that pick out of the back row. Plumber hitting 458 in the match. Breaking through the block with that attack. That ball never over by Winters. That ball set a little bit too low, and you can't get a low set by that big Stanford block. You need a little bit of lift to work around that big block. Stanford chipping away at Denver's lead in this third set. Outside. Door closed and evened up at nine apiece. Adriana Fitzmorris, number 12 in white, does a good job setting up that block as that right side hitter, Madeline Gates, a grad student who transferred from UCLA, closes that block to Adriana Fitzmorris. Ball set long. And now Stanford, after going down after that long scoring run, up by one. Ball on the end line. Well, Catherine Plummer actually chased it and thought it was long, let it drop. Well placed deep ball. Perfect. service wide. Denver knows they need to continue to put that service pressure on Stanford. That's how they went on that run behind Lauren Poulter's serve. Denver's coaches convening on the sideline. Nice kill out of the middle. And a pretty feed by Lauren Poulter to Green who gets on top of that with a snap kill to the right back corner. Carabines serve at Formico. Perfect pass by Formico. Pop. Bo all over that ball. Anything pops over in her direction, she is going to terminate. Hence digs that ball right on top. Jenna Gray could not get in front of it. 
Formico, another perfect pass. And then Madeline Gates hitting that nice sharp ball inside the block. Fifth kill for Madeline Gates. I just don't know that we talk about Kate Formico enough, right? I mean, she just quietly does the work. Yeah, and you want somebody like that on your team. But yeah, I mean, there's so much to talk about with Stanford. You just want Formico to do her job and make it look easy. And she does exactly that. She certainly does. Madeline Gates learning this new blocking scheme for Stanford, doing a good job. Left hand press cutting off that angle. Feeding their middle is Denver. Plummer, little ball. Bartolo. Out to Plummer. Snap. In the middle of that play, Hence and Plummer made eye contact. Hence is like, I got this ball, you go get your approach, and Catherine Plummer did just that. Watch it, right between them, there was some communication, nonverbal, and then Plummer attacking that scene for the transition kill. That's what happens, you play four years together, right? Right, yeah, that chemistry, knowing what the other player's gonna do. And that's your job, Catherine Plummer, and she does it. I'll tell you, it must be fun having number two on your side of the net. Yeah. <laughs> Right? Well, wait a second. You had uh, some big players I on did. Stanford's band having some fun. The tree in the background. There's no pacing yourself, but they could be dancing for a while if Stanford is able to advance today and play tomorrow. If they're able to advance tomorrow, they'll be hosting a regional here next weekend. One match at a time. That's really important in the NCAA tournament. You don't want to look past anybody. Well, and Stanford's been handed some losses this year that they hadn't been handed in the past. And so I don't think there's any chance that Stanford overlooks anyone. Martolo nice between the, the seam. Plummer sends it long, no touch. Plummer tried to hit that ball flat, get a touch off the block, missing it long. Stanford's still up by two. Carabine puts the ball into the middle. Tough ball coming over from that left side. Denver's digging some good balls. They're just not getting clean, good, effective transition swings. All the way around the dial again, Sydney Wilson serving. Great serve. Hitting those hands. Ellie Anderson does a good job getting to those balls, running that fast paced ball to the pin so her hitters can get by that big Stanford block. 10 double doubles for Ellie Anderson uh, this year. Gray, again, when she puts it over, she's putting it deep. And I love that she goes to that corner. I mean, she mixes it up, but she has great court presence knowing what part of the court's open? This is a tight pass. Jenna Gray's in the front row. She goes up high over the block, out of the reach of the defender. I feel like most setters, when they're not thinking, they're just putting it right into the campfire, right in the middle. Yeah, it, right? it, yeah, absolutely. I never used that deep one. I, I didn't have it. I'm not strong enough. <laughs> She's a javelin thrower. Come yeah, on. Yeah, that's true. I dislocate my shoulder if I sneeze. I didn't have that. <laughs> Gray serving. Off the head of Holly Campbell. Plummer ripping at it. Well, it's nice when it pops off your teammate's head and plop, pops right into Catherine Plummer's arm swing. Does it get an assist for Holly Campbell? I think it does. It should, absolutely. Yeah. Off of her head. Is there an asterisk next to it? No. There is in my mind. Okay. Plumber. 
Delivery by Carabine. It goes just a little wide for Amanda Green. If Macy Carabine can get that ball set tighter to the net, Amanda Green can hit with a lot more range. She was at least at the three meter line. Outside. Door closed. Campbell and Fitzmorris. Fitzmorris, Holly Campbell, just a wall for Stanford. Forcing Green to have to hit that sharp angle. But Morgan Hentz is in that sharp angle, so where do you go? Not there. Anderson goes to the middle. Hence close to that banner right there. That right side attack so quick for Denver. The right side attack is quick, but also part of Tom Hogan's uh, identity for this team is making that pass a little slower. Yeah, he calls it a drop pass, which is a longer touch on the ball where you lift it a little more, allowing your setter to get there. And then she speeds up the offense with her set move. And the point of drop pass is that it drops in on the setter's head. Is his Instead of that fastball, a lot of teams run that fast pass right to that area up towards the right front where the setter wants to run her offense from. But Tom Hogan likes the drop pass. He taught, he taught us a couple new words. Yeah, exactly. And there it was. And then you see Ellie Anderson speed up the offense exactly as described. Ball sent long and Stanford steamrolling through the red zone on their way to the second round of the NCAA tournament. Kalia Faubert trying to get her feet to that ball but could not get on top of it. Stanford just put so much pressure on you with their defense and their block. Guess what, another ace down the line with that same serve. High contact point. It's got nice movement, it's flat, and it's got pace. That's her sixth ace. <laughs> Door closed yet again, and Stanford at match point versus Denver. Stanford just wearing Denver down. Catherine Plummer serving for the match. And with that ball long, Stanford advances to the second round.